To do a therapeutic paracentesis, first take a look with the ultrasound and find a pocket of fluid that looks safe. Avoid those superficial veins and important stuff like bowel and omentum. If you turn the patient slightly towards you, the bowel will float up, and I use whichever lower quadrant looks better on ultrasound. Mark your site. Here we're going to do that with a little bit of suction. And now we're going to prep the skin. Don your gloves and drape your site so that everything is nice and sterile. Anesthetize the skin with a wheel of lidocaine and anesthetize the tract. Set up your equipment. So you should have your tubing, scalpel, needle with catheter, which by the way, does not always come in the kit, so make sure you check ahead of time. And we're gonna make a small stab incision just large enough for the catheter. We're using a needle with plastic catheter, but it's the same technique as a needle with syringe. Here we nick a little blood vessel, it's common, no big deal. Now, important. Do not withdraw the needle from the catheter until you get ascites fluid back. Because if you withdraw the needle too early, you cannot then reinsert the needle because you might tear the catheter with the needle. Now hold that needle still while advancing the catheter, and then you can withdraw the needle. Connect your tubing to the catheter and to the vacuum sealed containers, which notably are not sterile. So now you're no longer sterile, unless you have an assistant to help you with this. So you can keep an extra pair of sterile gloves nearby in case you need to readjust the catheter. This is the typical appearance of ascites fluid, straw colored, slightly frothy. So let this drain, fill up the bottle, and when it's time to switch to a new bottle, clamp the tubing and insert it into the next bottle top. And when you unclamp it, the magic of a vacuum will draw that fluid right in. Remove the catheter, place a dressing, and you are done. I'm Dr. Jess Mason, procedure done by Dr. Andreas Anaya.